Philippines and history of Mactan Cebu International Airport. The runway was built by the United States Air Force in 1956 as an emergency airport for strategic air command bombers and it was known as the Mactan Air Base. It remained a Spartan outpost until the Vietnam War in the 1960s when it became a base for a C-130 unit of the U.S. Air Force. Kawasan Falls, the most famous falls in Badia, a tree-tired cascade that features distinctly turquoise water. There are two ways to explore the falls. One is by choosing from the various canyoneering escapades and have a journey for three to six hours from Alegria to Badia. And the other is by a short trek to the waterfalls. Bantayan Island Bantayan Island is a small island off the coast of northern Cebu. Don't be fooled by this sleepy fishing village. The beaches of this humble island exude the same charm and beauty as the famous Boracay Island. The best part is, Bantayan Island is not as commercialized and crowded as Boracay. If you want a relaxing vacation by the beach, and witness one of the most beautiful sunsets. Bantayan Island won't disappoint you. Temple of Leia Hailed as the Taj Mahal of Cebu, the Temple of Leia has become one of the most famous landmarks in Cebu. This magnificent building is a sight to behold and a favorite Cebu activity for taking Instagram worthy shots. If you are up for a Cebu hillside tour, the Temple of Leia is an excellent place to start. Located in the hills of Busay in Cebu City, the Temple of Leia is a towering seven-story building inspired by the ancient Roman architecture. Said to have cost over 80 million pesos, this grand structure boasts granite floors, Doric columns, a marble fountain, and several Grecian-style statues. Pescador Island Pescador Island is in Tanyan Strait, few kilometers off the coast of Mole Bowl, in the south of Cebu Island. It is one of the best diving spots in Cebu. Its island reef is a sandy slope covered with soft coral from 5 to 10 meters. Further, there is a wall covered with hard corals dropping down to about 40 meters or 130 feet. In that wall, are tons of different species of colorful sea creatures, including sharks. Better to prepare your underwater camera to capture its beautiful corals and different marine species. Ten Thousand Roses of Cebu. Moving to the nearby island of Mactan. You can visit the 10,000 Roses of Cebu. This magnificent spot, which is in the Asparangay Road, Cordova, Cebu, has gone viral on social media. 10,000 artificial lead powered roses surround this certain roses cafe and more. Most guests prefer to go there during dusk to see the beautiful sunset while the roses lit up at night. Moreover, the owner of the cafe, who is also an interior designer, intends to create a romantic ambience for couples. Magellan's Cross 
King of Spain Charles I chose navigator Ferdinand Magellan to look for the Spice Island. In doing so, Magellan was able to cross the globe and eventually landed in the Philippines in 1521. Specifically, he made his step in Cebu on March 15, 1521. Magellan presented Christianity to Cebuanos, and most of them embraced the religion. In this site is where Magellan planted the cross which symbolizes Christianity on April 21, 1521. Viva! Pit! Senor! Get into party mode for five of Cebu's world-famous festivals. Festivals are an iconic part of many Philippine cultures and Cebu can boast of holding some of the loudest, most colorful, and most spectacular ones in the country. Simulog Festival Samba, from the to Manila with the hit and the drums yeah, shake it up and dance it like no more drama And check the game, it's just really big Throw it out that, the world keeps talking But we ain't walking, we keep on dancing That's how we rock it, 7,107 Islands of beauty, see pieces of heaven Pintos Festival Bogo Lechon de Cebu Cebu claims to have the best roasted pork in the Philippines, offering up lechon as proof. This dish is quite the local trademark of Cebuanos. You can buy a wool pig and have them chopped into manageable pieces. Pochero Coming from the Spanish word, which means stew pot, pochero is another dish that you should watch out for in Cebu, especially during the rainy season. The, there is nothing better than to indulge in a hot bowl of beef soup during cold weather. Barbecued everything. Cebuanos love their real food. And this is clear from the barbecue restaurants all over the city. From pork, fish, and chicken, you can choose your favorite meat and have it grilled fresh. It makes for a great meal when you want to try the best of what Cebu has to offer. Halo Halo! While other countries have their shaved ice, the Philippines also has its own version called halo halo literally meaning to mix this dessert is made up of different types of ingredients like tapioca gelatin banana ube milk beans dachiplan and many more Mga to kita sa Cebu. Sa Cebu! 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 Sa Cebu